so here's the admin of code page. Um, everyone has this open. I also have the input, like the URL is predictable, so I have the input page open. Um, and I also have inspect element open on this side. So uh, once the thing unlocks, I can just reload this page and since I'm coding in JavaScript, I can just run everything in the uh, console, dev the DevTools console. And over here, I'm pasting in my code here, so I can just uh, not lose my code, I guess. Okay, three, two, one. I didn't do yesterday's. Uh, ooh, encryption, nice. Okay, so convert it to binary. Um, Ooh, this sounds exciting. So the three, first three bits are the version. The, okay. Okay, this looks complicated. The version number is in all packets. So how many packets did they send? Oh, okay. So I'm guessing the first thing that we have to do is turn this into a string of bits. So I'm gonna remove my boilerplate code. Um, I am going to chop this into things and then uh, for every character um, I can probably just parse it as a 64-bit integer uh, convert it to base 2 and then <clears throat> pad it at the beginning with zeros and ooh, flat map will this work no oh so that didn't work I think oh it's length first then the digit Okay, and then I'll split this as well. Cool. Um, and I think it's not super useful for it to be a an array, so I might convert it back into a string. Oh, this is a bit less readable, actually. I don't know. Um, the literal value first five bits Yikes, this actually requires some parsing. Okay. Mm. I could do recursion with indices. Uh, hope I do. Would the ver packet version always be one? Wait, no, I'm, ah, I see. I'm trying to get the, okay. So the version numbers are important. Uh, okay. So once I have the bits, um, the first thing I want to do is parse it. So I guess parse, and then I'm gonna take a substring. So start and, and this will be a function. Um, so the version will be, this isn't binary, right? Parse int bits right, slice from start to start plus three. This will be the first three bits and it's in base two. Then the next three are the type. Mm. Okay. And then Okay, so if the type is four, I don't really need to deal with it right now. Otherwise, the length type ID. So this is the, 
length ID, I guess, and that would be the sev the sixth bit six, I think. That's the seventh bit. Number of sub interesting. Okay, so if length ID is one is this zero then the sub packets okay. So once length is bits oh I could put mm, whatever. Whatever. Actually yeah. I think I am going to mutate. Should I do that though? I want to mutate start. I might do that. This might cause problems in the future. And yeah, whatever. Um, this just makes it easier for me to do less math. I think that'll work, right? I think? No. I need to post comment it, I think. Um, and then here, I can just change 3 to 11, no, 15, that'll be the length of the bits. Otherwise, um, packets, this will be 11 bits. The sub packets appear, okay. So this is an operator. Okay. How do you know how many sub packets there are though? So this is like 27 bits? Hmm? I might not even need, need an end. Oh, I see. Okay, so I just keep reading it, and once it's done, oh, I see. I see, I see. So it just keeps reading. So I guess at the end of this function, I return, um, the start, the new start value, okay. Um, so once so the length, so this should be start plus length, and while start is less than before end. We can just keep reading packets. Um, packets stop push. I don't know. Destructuring assignment and set start to um, parse start. And then whatever, I, I won't add to packets just yet. Otherwise, while um, the length of the packets, packet count is less than packet count. And okay. Um, so this will get packets. packet like this um, let's just see how what this does so far parse zero ooh this actually does things nice nice um, this is very cool okay I'm glad it works so after that, I just want to, I'm just going to make it quickly accumulate the, uh, 
version because I'm adding them all up, right? L, uh, Y. So at some point it hits N A N. Ooh, that's actually at, after the first thing. Hmm. Interesting. So where does it after it parses like three bits or something? Oh, there are more sub packets. Uh, but it's after the first. Oh, this gets quite nested. Oh, I see. At some point, it hits too many uh, things. Hmm. Oh, I see. It's because of type, of course. The bits will always be strings. No, um, I'm being too strict somewhere, possibly. I don't know. Let's see, where is this is parsing correctly? This is not parsing correctly. Uh, this is not parsing correctly either. I'm surprised that this isn't thrown in infinite loop, though. Um, Oh, I um, I need to like treat the literals. I need to like increment start. So the next fifteen bits. Is T reasonable? No. Oh, okay. This actually requires some intelligence. Um. I see. Okay, so uh, let value equals a string, and then while uh, the first bit is still one, uh, I'll add to value the next four bits. And once it hits zero, it will stop. I think. Oh no, it needs to be do while. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I think I think I think a do while would work. I just need to check the. Um. Actually, I'm just going to do a while true loop. I like while trues. While true. Last. Uh. I mass. Um. If there's no I mass, then we can break like this. T is reasonable. One hundred and one thousand seven. Aha. Okay. Whoa, I'm ranked twenty seven. This is cool. Okay. Progress. And I actually set this up so that it parses with a reasonable parsing like output. Um. Okay. So I think. I think this might require some intelligence. Um, let value bits, I think. I'm going to call this value bits instead because value uh, means it should probably be a number. And once I got the value, I, it's a literal, so I can probably just return it value like this. Um, I actually don't need type any, I don't need to return type. Uh, what I do need to return is start, actually. Start is important. And version is not important. Okay, so here, 
It's gotten the packets. Uh, we need to calculate the value. And we can use a uh, the super annoying C style switch case statements type. Okay, so case case zero is sum. Um, ooh, auto indentation. Sometimes that happens. Uh, the values of their sub packets. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So they only return start and value, which means that actually I don't need to add packets. I just need to add values. And so packets. Where is packets defined? Up here. I'll move it down here because literals don't need it. Values, um, we're not stored packets anymore, but stored pack, uh, values. Okay, so value will be, hmm, I don't like writing break, but I think I might have to. Um, so values, I'll have to sum this using the traditional technique. And Okay, it's sum. Um, I'm just going to label it uh, product. So what, this is one. Just as easy with, with the multiplicative identity. Um, and then this is even easier. Math.min, and then I just get the minimum of the values. <laughs> Similarly, okay, this is two and three. And then I just max. Uh, five is greater. Oh, um, this requires some intelligence. The value is one if the value of the first sub packet. Oh, they will always have two sub. Oh, okay. This is not bad. I actually just have to convert this boolean into a number. And then if the first one is second, so wait, this is what greater than. Greater than second equals and less than six seven. I'm just going to use loose equals. I actually don't trust my type uh, my type speed correct. So I'm just going to loose equals everything. Um, actually, I'm going to use a uh, fancy control D to find any other strict equalities because I don't trust myself here. Okay. Does this work? No, I did a bad thing. Um, it is possible. I don't actually don't know what's possible. I am using value a bit too early. Is it because my return statement? No. Oh, I haven't defined value. Ah, I see. I see. Um, let me just let V and then wait. like this. Multiple cursors, uh, and then like this. I would just call it V. Packets is not defined. Why do we need packets? Oh, I see. That's just big, but it might be correct. Hurrah! I'm happy. Uh, I'm going to show the rest of my thing. This is, was much more successful than yesterday, because yesterday was some shortest path algorithm, and I'm not very good at plugging and chugging these algorithms. Part one, pretty good. And part two, also pretty good. I forgot what was, I like to document what bugs I found while uh, making this. What was the bug that I had to fix? Uh, oh yes. I found out that I had to parse, found out that I had to parse uh, literals. And then we use a pensive emoji because emojis are used by all hip and modern developers. Wow, a successful AOC run and recording. I'm happy. There you go. Um, as you can see, uh, my code tends to be pretty messy, but it works half the time. Um, and I'm pretty happy about that. Thanks, bye. Happy Christmas, Merry Holidays.